The Digestive System of Humans by kscience.com When you put food in your mouth, your teeth begin to break down the food into smaller pieces. So the mouth breaks down the food from larger to smaller pieces using the teeth. Salivary glands produce saliva. This saliva enters the mouth. Saliva contains the enzyme amylase. Amylase breaks down starch that you eat into glucose. So remember that the amylase will break down starch into glucose. This is the first step of the digestion of food in your body. Once the food is small enough to swallow, your food is then transported via the gullet or the esophagus from your mouth to your stomach. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Your stomach is an organ that pummels food from larger to smaller pieces. Your stomach is an organ that pummels food from larger to smaller pieces. It uses the muscular walls to churn the food, break it down to smaller pieces. The stomach produces an enzyme called pepsin, which is a protease. Pepsin is a protease that breaks down proteins into amino acids. So remember, Pepsin is a protease that breaks down proteins to amino acids in the stomach. And the stomach has a pH of 2, which is acidic, because of the hydrochloric acid in the stomach. The hydrochloric acid in the stomach kills bacteria. So the hydrochloric acid kills bacteria. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The liver produces bile. The liver produces bile. Bile is then transported to the gallbladder where it is stored. The gallbladder releases bile into the small intestine. The gallbladder releases bile into the small intestine to neutralize stomach acid and to emulsify fat droplets from large droplets into smaller droplets. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The pancreas releases amylase, lipase and proteases into the small intestine. So these are enzymes produced and stored by the pancreas that are released into the small intestine to help digest food even further. This is the small intestine. The small intestine also produces the enzymes protease, lipase and amylase. These enzymes help break down the food even further. The small intestine is where digested food is absorbed into the blood. This is the large intestine. The large intestine is where excess water is absorbed from our food. The large intestine is also where feces is formed. The feces formed in the large intestine is then stored in the rectum. The rectum stores feces and when we need to go to the toilet to excrete the feces, the feces exits our body via our anus. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. 
press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.